What's going on everybody, I'm YouTube's Popey J and welcome to The Future Is Loading. I found this up on itch.io, I thought it would be really interesting. It's a game where you've just graduated and you're trying to figure out what you're doing with your life. Which is very relatable because I'm currently in that phase of life where I'm like, what do I want the rest of my life to be? I don't know. So hopefully this might help me out a little bit? Probably not. It was like any other ordinary day. Except I still had no clue about what I was doing with my life. <laughs> Relatable. Which yeah, I guess was just another ordinary day. That month I finished applying to so many different jobs. All of them being failed attempts. Relatable! So if rejoice after re so rejection after rejection and no interviews in sight, I wasn't sure if I was ready to handle the real world yet. In fact, the only thing I really wanted to do was run away. Not really from anyone or anything in particular. I just hated the idea of returning home back to nothing. Yeah, I can kind of relate to that. This game is so relatable so far. With only myself to keep me company. Oh god, what's happening? Picture's changing. Hi. Speaker. And I would just like to thank you all for coming support our new graduates. Now please give it up for your first keynote speaker. Yes! Thank you, thank you. Y'all too kind. Now, success comes in many different forms. London. And, and this is exactly the part where I tune out. I don't know why she sounds like Michael Caine. Psst. Hey, Alice, are you okay? You seem a little bit out of it. Ah, uh, yeah, I'm fine. Don't worry about it. Don't know why I'm Kermit the Frog. Don't lie to me. Just from looking at your face, I can tell you didn't sleep much last night. Wow. Who would have guessed that sleep deprived would uh, do wonders for your face? I don't know why I chose Kermit the Frog, but we're sticking with it. Yeah, your red eyes really compliment your rosy cheeks. Look, I'm, I'm just stressed because I have no idea what I'm doing. I can't be, I can't trying to sound depressed when I have this voice. No sense of direction, no future plans. I just really want to know what I am supposed to be doing. Hey look, I think I have just the thing for you. It's going to be the solution to all your problems. And that would be? It's an app. Oh, you can't seriously be expecting me to- Hey, just hear me out first. Don't kick it before you try it. I don't know why I gave him Michael Caine's voice, but it said London, so I went for a British voice, and it just happened to be Michael Caine. It's an app that uses complex algorithms to predict where you will be in the future. Everyone has been using it, so, so, so it is now trending. Can algorithms really do that? You'd be surprised with what machines could do these days. Here, why don't you give it a try for yourself? I already filled out some general information about your age and your major. Now you just need to answer some personality questions. Um, I guess it's worth a shot. Alright. Oh my god, am I actually going to be doing it? Ah, oh, let's figure out where I'm going in life, guys. Let's, uh, begin. Alright, here we go. Welcome back to Fox Fortunes. Thank you. An app that predicts where you will be down the line. I'm sure that you're eager to see what your future holds. But before, but before that, I still need to ask a few personal questions. Answer honestly to receive your most accurate prediction. Here's your first question. Do you prefer work in a team or on your own? <sighs> I'm, a, I'm a big fan of solo working, so I'm gonna answer this honestly as if I was taking the quiz. Ah, so you work, you work best at getting things done on your own. 
you most likely will be self-driven in future. Next question. Are you more extroverted or introverted? Well, for this, I, I seem extroverted to you guys, but I actually, I do prefer to just be kind of hidden away in my own company. Okay, so it's good to know that you take time to recharge. Self-reflection is a great quality to have. Now, on to the next question. Would you consider yourself to be creative or more analytical? Well, I'd say creative. I do all this and everything, so I'd say creative. A creative spirit. With so many new problems, it'll be great to see if you can think outside the box. Alright, next question. Would you prefer to have a well-organized plan, or would you stay flexible? I, li I like to keep it pretty loosey-goosey. Okay, so you're willing to be flexible. That is a great quality to have. This, this fucking game's picking me up, man. It's, I'm feeling really good about myself now. Quality to have when you face new challenges. Here's my last question. Do you generally like to focus on the bigger picture or do you start focusing on small details? I'm a small detail person. All right, so prefer to look at the small details first. I believe I have enough data to begin some calculations. Please wait while I determine your future. Loading. All right, I'm, I'm interested to see what I'm gonna get. How are you feeling? You're about to find out what science has said about your future. I'm actually even more nervous than before. Alice? You know, on second thought, I'm not sure if I want to know. What? The answers are literally... It's like reading the last page of a book. What's, it, what's the fun in knowing what the ending's going to be? I don't know what she said. I'm trying to keep up and kind of go for a dramatic Kermit the Frog thing. So you really don't want to know? No! I think I just need to keep it a surprise. Here, can you get rid of this app for me? Well then. Alright. Whew, what a relief. Because I didn't program anything after that. What are you saying? I programmed this fake app to tell you about your future. It was originally called Fox Fortunes, but I thought it was still on the nose. Anyways, I figured I figured you'd learn that you don't need all the answers. Alright, I'm gonna stop doing the voices because that's it's getting ridiculous. Um, which is why you shouldn't put yourself under pressure. Wow, I can't believe you did all this. Look, look, anything to get you to realize that everything would be just fine. You're right. Thanks, London. I'm glad I've got to meet you in college. Now it is time to hand out diplomas. Okay. All right. Finally, I was I was bored of listening to speeches. What do you think? Are you go? Are you ready now? Yeah. I'm as ready as I'll ever be. Let's see what the future holds for us. After graduation, London and I stayed in contact with each other. I made a lot of new friends along the way too. It turns out that all my worrying was for nothing since I was able to find a decent job after graduation. Don't get me wrong, there were a few bumps in the road. But I finally found a job where I get to work on my own creative projects. Overall, the job itself was pretty flexible. I get to choose when and where I want to work. And then when work is over, I have a lot of downtime for myself. Looking back, I'm glad I chose not to know the future. Even if it was possible to know my future. I would have been so caught up in making detailed plans. And I would have lost sight of the bigger picture. Which is just enjoying what I have in this moment. Thank you for playing. I wish you the best of luck for your own future. Oh, thank you. This game actually, this has kind of given me... I'm going to take these off because um, I want to have an honest chat. This game's kind of calmed me down a little bit. Because a lot of this year, for those of you that don't know, I used to work a job at a high school where I was working IT. Um, and that job got made redundant at the end of last year. So I've been six months now trying to hunt down a job. And I've been really stressed about that. And this game kind of really just put that into perspective for me. So this was really... I mean, you guys mightn't have gotten a lot out of this. I don't know what you got out of this, but... I kind of got something out of this, which I'm really pleased about, so... 
I, I'm not, I, I'm guessing that this video won't get a lot of views and stuff, which I don't really care about anyway. But hopefully you guys got the message um, that this game was trying to pass on, because I really enjoyed that message. And it was something I really needed to hear, where you need to just appreciate the moment, you can't control what's going to happen, and just go wherever the future is going to lead you. So, thank you to the developers of this game, because I really needed that message, especially at this point in my life. And that's really calmed me down and put me at ease a little bit, so thank you. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching, I hope you guys got something out of this. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, don't forget to favorite it, don't forget to subscribe if you've not already, guys, helps me out a lot. There are links to my social medias in the description box. And as always, there is a link to my new stream over on DLive. Make sure you check that out because you can catch me live on stream noon Australia time every day. But also, most importantly, there's going to be a link to this game down in the description box. It is free, but please kick in a couple of bucks if you can, guys, to help support the developers. Help them to make games, more games that are like this with good messages. But thank you guys, I hope you're having a fantastic day wherever you are in the world. Thanks for stopping by our channel, and until next time, I'm YouTube's Popey JN. Peace out. I've a thousand stories I have yet to tell. There are many miles left, and there's a lifetime we can spend. We will walk this road until the end. I will walk this road with my best friend.